This panel of the dashboard provides inventory level indicators as they relate to sales orders that have been made against the items. Here we use colored dots to quickly identify the products whose inventory levels are of concern. The reason this is critical is because inventory levels of best-selling products, such as the Cannondale CAD 9, are not at acceptable levels, and that is indicated by the red dot. Again, looking at our executive dashboard, in the upper left-hand panel, bullet graphs are used to display expenditures, which is actual spending by a department versus their, forecast, by, versus their forecasted estimates. A bullet graph is a variation of a bar graph developed by Stephen Few. Bullet graphs feature a single primary measure, for example, current year-to-date spending, and compare that measure to one or more other measures to enrich its meaning. For our example, it would be the com compared to budget. The bullet graph represents a qualitative range of performance, such as poor, satisfactory, or good. In this bullet graph, we see the quality assurance expenditures have exceeded their budget, as indicated by both the black center line exceeding the target hash mark and the red background color indicator. When any particular indicator is out of range, intelligent decision support systems allow users to explore the underlying details to determine why the metric is off, so they can take action to improve the situation. In this case, the executive may at this point want to drill down and gather more information about this overage. After drilling down, we see that QA has incurred some unplanned training and travel expenses. The data values in the actual column of this table are conditionally formatted with background colors to indicate alert conditions. This data provides the executive with the information they need to ask the right questions and to direct further investigation. This discrepancy was possibly due to the hiring of new staff members, and targeted research will be able to verify or, or refute this theory. In the top right coordinate, quadrant of the dashboard is the sales revenue and forecast information. An area of certain concern to the executive may be the indication that sales projections for the central region is at risk during the third quarter. The forecasted sales for the third quarter are low when compared to the second and fourth quarters. When looking at opportunities which have a 75% confidence of closing, the executive sees that next quarter will be a challenge. Though the executive could possibly drill down and look into the reasons, he instead, maybe he, he would opt to assign the task to a sales manager or to a business analyst. Using data dynamics analysis connected to the sales system data, we can now review opportunities by current step in the sales cycle. Here we see that the central region has very little in their terms and conditions step. Knowing that this step is the most likely to close, the business analyst digs a little deeper to see what might be done to move more opportunities into that step. It is also worth noting that some analysis tools make use of color and gradients to provide, to provide visual clues. In this analysis, we can see that red indicates less than a 50% confidence the opportunity will close, while green indicates 75% confidence or higher. In the central region, we see that not only are there very few opportunities overall, but also none of the opportunities have a high confidence of closure. This indicates trouble. Further analysis of the data, including the customer type, preferred, preferred versus standard, we note that there are very few opportunities in the sales funnel for the central region for preferred customers. And even the opportunities for the standard customers are pretty low in size when compared to the other regions. The analyst will share this data with the sales management team to see what actions can be taken to improve the revenue outlook for the next quarter. This data also indicates that there are few opportunities in the funnel for preferred customers in any region. It might be time for a marketing promotion for this segment of customers. Another view of the data shows that, shows that if we introduce the credit limit dimension into the model, the eastern region has high dollar revenue opportunities in the various steps of the sales cycle 
but none have a high level of confidence, which is denoted by the orange color of the data points. This analysis has taken us in an unexpected direction and sheds light on another area that needs improvement. Action can now be taken to address this situation. Reporting has been around since the first applications were created. Back then, reports were created in batch and distributed by hand. Daily, monthly, and quarterly reports were presented, to, presented reams of data to users. All of that after the fact. In today's intelligent applications, reports can be generated on demand, accessing current data. Some of the more sophisticated reporting solutions even provide drill-down capabilities, report linking, and tools for users to create their own reports from scratch or by cloning existing reports. This active reporting capability is critical to assisting decision making. Here is a report created with Data Dynamics Reports by Grape City. It shows store performance. This interactive report has collapsible sections so the user can show more or less information as they need. Notice the expand symbol next to the profit column. In this sample, the expansion shows the store sales for the last 30 days utilizing a sparkline for data visualization. Sparklines were originally proposed by Edward Tufte for small, high-resolution graphics embedded in a context of words, numbers, or images. Sparklines are essentially word-sized graphics intended to be succinct, memorable, and located near, the top, located near the topic area being discussed. This report also supports interactive drill-through, which allows a user to get more facts about areas within a report. The drill-through activity creates another report exposing the months where sales were below target, as indicated by the red dots. Here we see the end user report designer in Grape City's, dynamic data, in Grape City's data dynamics reports. The report designer was used to create the store performance report I showed earlier. So how did we build this end-to-end -end decision support system? We used our Spread for Windows Forms product to create the rich interactive dashboard and spreadsheets. Spread gives developers the ability to access and modify their data using the most familiar tool for that job, a spreadsheet. With Spread, developers can easily create specialized solutions that empower their users without requiring Microsoft Excel. We used our analysis product, which provides a rich environment for exploring data to uncover trends and opportunities where users can build models and investigate what-if scenarios. And we used our Data Dynamics Reports product to show how interactive reporting can be used to allow users to expand and collapse data elements to drill down into details when necessary, run reports on demand, and even, even create their own reports by using the end user report designer. By using software tools readily available today, developers can create systems that provide their company decision makers with tools to turn data into useful information to drive better outcomes. In our presentation, we have, demonstrated, we have demonstrated this using Grape City Power Tools. Using the decision support components from Grape City, you can include rich visual dashboards to monitor key business indicators, interactive self-service reports, and deep functionality analysis to help you uncover trends and opportunities, all focused on delivering systems that support fact-based decision making. The keys to success include the ability to make informed decisions by allowing your data to tell you what has happened, why did it happen, what is currently happening, and what is going to happen. Thank you for investing your time with us. We hope you find the information presented useful. If you would like to learn more about the tools used to create the sample application, please visit our website gcpowertools.com to download trials of spread, data dynamics analysis, data dynamics reports, or any of our other Power Tools family of products.